Since four pencils are held together in a square band, elastic band in a diagram below. If the pencils are of diameter seven meters, what is the length of the band in the position? So, we are told that the um, the pencil is of diameter seven centimeters. So let's say this is diameter of the pencil seven centimeter. Now, if the diameter of the pencil is seven centimeter, it means the radius will be um, half of diameter, which is three point five meters. So this is 3.5 uh, meters here. Now I could just see, so if that is 3.5, I could see that from here, I could see that from here down to this point, uh, well, let's just do this like this. This is the diameter of this pencil here. This is the diameter, let me pick this like this. This is the diameter of this pencil here. And um, the radius here is going to be, the radius is going to be from this point, from the center of the circle to this point on the circumference of the circle, which is going to be 3.5 meters. So I'll just write this as 3.5 meters. Now, if this is 3.5, you'll agree with me that if a straight line comes from the circumference of the circle, then the angle formed here will be 90 degrees. Because let's say we have a straight line like this and we have... um a perpendicular bisector coming to divide the straight line into two parts like this. Definitely the angle here must be 90 degrees. So we'll just apply the same concept there. So here we have this as the radius as 3.5. You'll agree with me that this is should this should also be 3.5 meters. Now if this is 3.5, that means from this center here down to this circumference of the circle here should also be 3.5 meters. So we'll just say that. A distance from this point, this the center of the circle here to the center of the circle here is seven centimeters, uh, seven meters. So this is seven meters. We have this as seven meters. This will also be seven meters. Seven meters. This will also be seven meters. This will be seven meters. This will also be seven meters. Now the question says, what is the length of the band in the position? That means, what's the distance round the band? What's the distance? What, like, what's the perimeter of the band? The rubber band. That's the meaning. So the cal to calculate the distance, we we'll have to calculate the distance round the um, the band here. Now this is the length of the arc. This is the length of the arc. This is the length of this arc here, and this is also the length of this arc here. Now, to calculate the length of the band, we have to know what this. We have to know what the length of the arc represents. So, let's say this is five meters, for example. Everything here must definitely be five meters because the length of the arc is uh, all equal. So, we'll just see. To calculate the length of the arc, let's say this is point A and this is point B. You know, the length of the arc is always giving us length of arc A B will be given as theta all over 360 times 2 pi r. Now theta here is, um, the angle here is 90 degrees, so it's a 90 all over 360 degrees times 2 times um, pi is 22 all over 7 times the radius. Now the radius can be 7 all over 2 because diameter is 7, so let's just use 7 over 2. Instead of using 3.5, you know, using 3.5 here may just complicate things. So let's just do it like this. 90 goes here one time, 90 goes here four times. We'll say 2 goes here, 2 goes here, give us 1. 7 goes here, 7 goes here, give us 1. Then um, 2 in 4, 2. 2 in 11, 22 gives us 11. So it means the length of the arc is 11 all over 2 meters. Now, we have this as 11 all over 2 meters. We have this as 11 all over 2 meters. We have this as 11 all over 2 meters. We have this as 11 all over 2 meters. Now, the length of the band will just be 11 all over 2 plus 7 plus 11 all over 2 plus 7 plus 11 all over 2 plus 7 plus, plus 7 plus 11 all over 2 like that. So, just add this round like this and get the length of the band. So, we could just say the length of band, length of band, is equal to now instead of saying seven plus seven plus seven plus seven four times let's just say seven times four since we have four sevens plus eleven all over two times four so this would be um, seven times four gives us twenty eight plus two here one two goes in four two times two times eleven gives us twenty two so by the time we add this together we would have fifty 
meters as our final answer so the length of the band is 50 meters and th to me this is very interesting because you see from here we, we actually connected length we actually connected the length of the arc to a real life problem so you know all every aspect of mathematics is very important because you'd one day um, apply that aspect of mathematics you are learning in real life